Yo, what is up Supreme Dream Team and Steve McQueen? Today we're going to be playing with the Dinobots. Yeah, just playing with them and trying different configurations for the Volcanicus. Um, by this point, I'm assuming that you have seen a bunch of videos regarding their individual bot modes and their, um, you know, dino modes and things like that. Uh, I really wanted to focus on what we could do with the combined version. And so I'm going to put these guys off to the side and then we'll kind of discuss um, some different fan modes that we can do. And if you're asking me why did I get two of each, uh, primarily for... Um, uh, parity so that I can have two of the bots on the same side. Uh, so first before we go into any custom configurations This is the core Volcanicus, right? Um, he's okay. I mean there there's obviously a lot of concessions and compromises that they've had to make because uh, one budget budgets huge um, Another thing is that they have to be triple changers, you know, so that's another huge thing as well um, and yeah, and they're tiny. So what can you really do? So for what it's worth, just this guy by himself, dude, I'm not hateful on it, dude. It's okay. And it's, if, it's, if this was for a little kid, dude, like an eight-year-old, I, I think they'd really enjoy this. And if you're an adult collector like me and this is not your favorite aesthetic, well, there are add-on kits that you can buy to improve this. And so, yeah, a little something for everybody, right? So, um... This is, it's, it's very sturdy, like it's not going to fall down. Like some of my creations, perhaps there's a little bit of uh, wobble wobble on them, but this dude is really, really quite sturdy. And I think that's probably one of the main objectives as well. Uh, some areas that I don't necessarily like, I think he's a little too small. Um, I mean, if the arms were somehow proportionate to the legs, I wouldn't mind it being a little bit squatter. And also I think the asymmetry on the very, very thin swoop arm versus the, the very bulky scar arm is a little bit of a mismatch. But um, I've been told that all of this is because these guys are pre-tools. Uh, uh, by the way, a great term that I just learned recently. It's, it's phenomenal. I love it when you find that right word for the right occasion. Pre-tool is just perfect. And, and so for those of y'all in the comments who shared that term with me, I appreciate y'all for that. Uh, but yeah, so I've heard it's a pre-tool and that's why they are what they are, you know. Um, yeah, and I'm not sure if that actual, the Dino King, um, you know, retool uh, th th that I'm referring to, if that incorporates swoop on the back. But I have found a way actually to incorporate them as a backpack. And um, I don't know, I'll show you and you decide for yourself if you think that's a legitimate connection or not. Um, but it's very, very secure. So um, since we have Scar over here, and I mean, since we have everyone over here, Let's just start with some um, basic remodeling. And so if we take a look at this right here, the scar arm, I really, really like. It's nice and bulky. And um, yeah, and so I wanted to get something not only as bulky, but perhaps to kind of fit the, the length as well. And so we have Grimlock on the bottom. I would say Grimlock is one of the most versatile um, limbs among all of them. He can kind of become an arm. He can kind of become a leg. And he has five millis, that, the five millimeter ports that you can utilize. And so what we're doing over here is you just take that leg configuration. Let me kind of move them off the screen so that we can um, get the focus. There we go. I still feel like it's a little bit blurry. Y'all see that? Okay, that's a little bit better. Maybe my hands are messing it up. Anyway, so you untab the back over here and then you're going to twist this around, right? And then you're going to kind of try to get the arms not really to sit in there, but that's kind of like the hope. Yeah. Or let me see. Maybe it was like that. Well, you'll see it in a second. You'll see it in a second. Because ultimately what I did was I created some type of contraption like this. And then we stuck the Power of the Primes um, Grimlock foot on the bottom. Now, this is going to be a game changer. If you don't have this foot, you know what? Maybe we can try the Combiner Wars foot. Oh, but you know what? The Combiner Wars foot doesn't have that tilt on it. And so let's just keep it with um, the Power of the Prime foot. And uh, let me just extend that little peg out. I can't get to it right now. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? So we get that in there. And then you can already see, yo, that looks, that looks pretty tight, dude. And you can mess with this. Um, I'm trying to remember if there was a, I feel like there was a build where I just had the dino face up like this and maybe it's this one. And like that kind of is kind of cool because it creates this like new thigh almost, you know, and then you can adjust this foot at the bottom. And so look at that already. Look at that already. That looks kind of tight, right? Let me configure um, the other scar. And uh, I, I brought a bunch of accessories with me uh, just so we can kind of play with it. I, I brought, um, what is it? I brought some perfect effect fists. I think these are a little too big, to be honest. 
Uh, but what might be more appropriate are these uh, fists that uh, the homie Punchy the Dog provided from um, his uh, Shapeway shop, Punchy the Lab. Uh, this is just one of his home prints, and so, uh, but but the stuff on the Shapeway store is like ultra ultra sore smooth. And so, um, yeah, if you like aftermarket bits, now check out um, Punchy's Lab on uh, Shapeways. And this, this is not an advertisement. It's not. It's just, like, if I told you, oh, yeah, if you want this, go buy it at Target. Am, am I advertising Target? No, I don't think so. I'm just telling you where I bought it. But then YouTube will not necessarily ding me, but there will be a little notification to be like, hey, this, this contains, like, product placement and stuff. And I'm like, I guess, man. I guess. So you saw how I configured that, right? And so now that I did it once, I got a little bit more confident <laughs> in doing it the second time. Um, all right. So let's get him in there. And I've done this configuration before, and uh, it's one of my favorites. And that's why I'm replicating it as the first one. Um, so yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, you you can see with the power of the prime foot, and don't worry, I'm, I'm gonna get them all in the shot in a second. Let me just plug everything in. Um, you can tell with the power of the prime's foot, he's a lot more stable. Let me get that bend on him. There we go. There we go. Yo, that's fab, dude. Look at that, fabulous. Look at that, incredible, incredible, beautiful, right? Dude, this is nice. Except for my camera is like slightly crooked. <laughs> it should be like that. So I'm not, I'm not sure what's throwing it off. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. You know what? I'm going to have to edit out that screech. Otherwise, for those of you all watching uh, with your headphones on, you're going to go deaf. Uh, so let me edit that out. My fault, my fault. Um, look at that. Now, he looks tight, right? Yeah, so two Grimlocks, two Scars, Power of the Prime Feet, and the Slug and the Sludge in the middle. You can do this. Um, let me see how he looks with the Combiner Wars Feet. And like I said, the Combiner Wars Feet aren't going to have that ankle tilt on them. Because that was introduced later with uh, Power of the Primes. But, oh, that's a tight fit. Uh, but this is this is not bad. It's a little bit flatter. It's a little bit flatter. But, yeah, it's a really tight fit. To a degree, almost uncomfortable. Um, all right, let's see how our guy looks. I mean, more or less the same. But yeah, the fit is not as good because um, the angle in which it's being inserted, the peg is not long enough. So I actually prefer the power of the prime's foot. But if you don't got that, the combiner wars, combiner wars feet should suffice. And uh, now nah, he's cool, dude. Yeah, this beautiful, beautiful scar um, as the arms. So that's pretty tight. Um, and that's why I'm talking about like Grimlock is like so versatile. Um, there's another leg configuration that you can do. Uh, and this was taught to me by the great, great builder um, off of Instagram, um, G0X2, yeah, uh, semi, G0X2, and so what he does is he keeps the arms plugged in, he keeps the legs bent back, but it's the same concept in terms of using a power of the prime's foot, and his configuration was the first, he was the first person that I saw using the power of the prime's foot, and I was like, you diabolical genius, um, I don't know if he had this open or not, let's say he did, and uh, this was the first configuration that I saw with, with the foot. And I was like, diabolical, beautiful, beautiful, genius. Just just absolute genius. Um, I think that's better. Like that. Yeah, yeah. But Grimlock can actually also um, go into arm mode as well. That's why I was saying he's so versatile. And so let me put these guys off to the side. By the way, if you hear a little bit of the frog in my voice, it's because it's super early. <laughs> it's super early. It's like six something right now. Um, and if you're like, Yo, why are you up so early? Well, like, I sleep pretty early. I sleep anywhere between like nine and 1030. Um, and then I try to get about like, I don't know, five to six hours of sleep. And why? Well, I need more money. And I don't, I don't mean cash. I mean time, you know. I don't have, I don't have enough time in the day between my work uh, just my personal life and my hobbies to do everything that I want to do. And so, therefore, um, yeah, got, I, have to, I have to get some time out of somewhere, right? And so it comes from my sleep. But it's cool. I've, I function really quite well with uh, five to six hours of sleep. So it's no biggie. It's no Tupac either. Get it? Ha, 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 ha. No, all right, all right. Stop. I'll stop. <laughs> no? 
You didn't get that? All right. <laughs> so, all right, we're kind of putting in the leg config like this. And um, I actually have a couple more Grimlocks. Believe it or not, I have six Grimlocks. Uh, and, and, and four were intentional, two were accidental. And so, um, I don't know. If there are some of you out there who don't have Grimlocks, may, maybe um, maybe I'll just toss them your way. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So in order to make this arm configuration, basically, I do like popping off the arms from the socket and uh, swapping them because that allows the arms to tab in again and feels more secure. And uh, I mean, you can do whatever you want with the with the top part. But yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. And we'll get one of the fists from Punchies. Pop that in there. It might be a little bit small. And Punchy had talked to me about potentially making some Voyager versions, uh, but I'm not, I don't think I got back to him on that. Or yeah, this is, this is not that bad. Let me put that foot. Oh, one thing is that the Grimlock pegs. You see, they're not, they're off centered, you know, and that's why it works for this side. But this side, it's it's slightly asymmetric, and so you may have to fiddle with the placement of the foot whether it's on this port or this port um, to get it right. So just give me a second. By the way, y'all having a good day? I certainly hope so. Yeah, I hope so. I know. Oh man, again, the squeak. Oh, I'm gonna have to rewatch the video and edit all of that out because that is not a good sound. That is not a good sound. Um, yeah, I'm, I'll make sure to edit all of that out, I promise. Uh, I promise. And you're like, what are you talking about? I didn't hear anything. Yeah, because I edited it out, hopefully, <laughs> by the time you're watching this video. Ugh. There we go. Now we're trying to make this little cube at the top. Grimlock, right? Oh, man, I can't stop that thing from squeaking. Do I have, like, something I could put them on? I'll put them on the Big Bad Toy Store postcard. I think that's a little bit better. Um, where's the other fist? Yeah, we get that in there. Like that, dude. That's not that bad. That's not that bad, dude. I don't know what's up with this crook on, 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 the, on the camera, dude. Like, I don't know why he looks so, like, crooked. Um, that's okay. That's okay. Let me see if it looks better once uh, once I put this up. I don't know. I can't. But yeah, these guys are great fun. Like I keep them at the office a lot of times. And like when I'm just chilling and I need a break and I need to kind of like unwind, free my mind and stuff. Yo, I'll just mess around and pick these up. So much fun. So much fun. And when people come by, they're like, hey, what's this? Like, I don't mind them, like, uh, playing with it because I know they're not going to break it and stuff. Um, all right. Like that, all right? That's not too bad. That's not too hateful. That's pretty tight. That's pretty tight. Um, I'm not sure which versions of the arms I like better, Scar or this. But um, this is pretty tight. This is pretty tight. Yeah, sideways, you know, you still got, you got this, like, leg thing kind of hanging off the back, but, um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, let me show you the back thing. So, in order to attach Swoop as the backpack, you gotta, let me just take these guys off. Oh, and if you're wondering, hey, I, I get the fact that you bought two of each limbs, Why'd you buy two torso bots? Because those guys can't become limbs. I'll show you how they can become limbs. No, no, I'm just kidding. No. I bought them because um, I was doing a lot of... Oh, man. What's going on over here? Oh, you know what? I, I got I to... Gotta... That's right. I got to take this apart. I was doing so much bot bending with these things. It's just like I, I needed more ingredients. I couldn't... The pace of which I was making stuff couldn't keep up with it. So... The reason why I unplug this is you, you got to take this and you got to turn it around. You got to do this three. Oh, no, wait. No, you don't. I'm tripping, dude. What am I talking about? Man, I did all that for nothing. <laughs> all 
All right, I'm gonna put it back. Yeah, I'm super tripping, dude. I'm freaking out, man. And so make sure to get the arms all tabbed in properly. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, dude? But yeah, I mean, thankfully these guys are, they're not that expensive, you know? And, and so, um, and, and I still see them kind of like shell forming at Target. And so maybe some outlets, whether it be Target or, or anywhere else, you might be able to find them on the cheap on Black Friday. I mean, they're like 11, 12 bucks. Right. Primus, have mercy. What's going on? Okay. All right. So we have the torso back in this configuration, right? And so see this cavity right there? That's the thing that we're going to be working with. Uh, you do have to kind of orient the legs in, in certain ways. Well, you don't have to do anything with the legs, but it's really depending on how you want to configure them to look like afterward. And um, yeah, hold up. I'm just going to show you swoop. Um, so we have swoop as the arm over here, and uh, I don't think he's that great. But we'll remove that. And uh, by the way, when this video hits the 20 minute mark, I'm probably going to stop it. and I'm going to do part two. OK. And so, um, yeah, just bear with me. We're about 16 minutes in right now because uh, I feel like this video could potentially go much longer. Um, so you're going to take swoop and like you're, you're basically starting in his kind of bot mode. Right. And then you flip the legs around. And you uh, flip the waist around rather raise up the head. And this entire piece, not just the peg, this entire piece, you see that space right over here between um, his legs? Yo, dude, call me crazy or call me Susan or whatever you want to call me. <laughs> but <laughs> let me just get some clearance. You're going to plug this in into that spot. Look, it's a perfect fit. For that entire joint do you see it like right here i know it's a little hard to see because the light can't get in there but this entire bit will sit in there and it'll be incredibly tight yeah and then from there i like draping the legs down um kind of on the back like that there we go there we go and they're all on ball pegs and stuff so. Let me just take them off right now, just so I can illustrate it, because they're just kind of getting in the way. But yeah, now you can see it much better. Now you can see it much better. Yeah. Um, I will still keep the legs on, because I actually like how they fill up the back. Like, I don't see all of this, but I just have to figure out the proper way to drape the legs down. Um, and there's a way I did it. I did it for the, the Snarl combiner. Uh, the one using sn Snarl as... Um, But yeah, <laughs> I might just fast forward this part, dude, when, when I edit the video, dude, because it's just fumbling with, the, I swear it works, <laughs> I swear it look. oh, okay, this is a big component, that's right, there is, there is proper clearance if you have the legs oriented in, in a certain way. So see those slots? If you have them facing backward, it allows the legs to bend down a little bit better. I'm not sure what it's going to do with this, but, but that's the fun in all of this, you know? You're trying to figure stuff out. You're seeing what doesn't work. You're seeing what works. And then you carve a path for yourself. Um, let's say it's like that. A little bit chunk monk, actually. But there's another configuration where it works better. But yeah, now he kind of has this, like, I don't know, Super Sentai look going on and if we plug in all the bits that we just had yo that looks kind of fire dude that looks kind of fire um and so it's about the 20 minute mark and so if you are still watching up to this point first of all universe bless you child i really appreciate it and um, as I mentioned before on the other videos, uh, all of our ad revenue, ad dollars and stuff goes to unbound.org and kiva.org for microloans. And uh, you are making a difference, believe it or not, by watching these videos in their entirety and helping the algorithm uh, feel like um, uh, raise the relevance in the algorithm. 
And by getting more views, we're making more money on the channel and it's going to help impoverish folks across the globe. So trust me, you are making an impact, believe it or not. Dude, that's kind of tight, dude. I think that's rad. And so, yeah, you can get some custom looks with Volcanicus. Um, but yeah, so let's do part two where we focus a little bit more on um, Snarl and um, some of the other bots, okay? I'll be right back, thanks.